544. It's nothing like getting on a boat, going out fishing with friends or family, and catching some big fish. Thousands do it every weekend. I've always wanted to do it. And this morning, Chip is in Galveston. He's showing us his deep sea fishing adventure. Chip? Something like that. I was the exact same way. You know, I'd always wanted to go and experience that thing. I've never really been much of a fisher, but there's just something about heading out into the Gulf and landing the big one. 30 miles out into the Gulf. There he is, Taylor. Two professional fishermen. Yeah, all right, Chip? Uh, and one seasick reporter. Take gentlemen lean before you come. The less drowsy kind of seems to work better. That is the recipe for a day of deep sea fishing with wave dancer charters. I think you're about 10 pounds. And Captain Taylor Burrell. I've always fished my whole life. Ever since I was a little bitty, shoot, my dad started me out. I could drive a boat before I could walk. I could swim before I could walk. I grew up on the river. He and his stepdad started the business four years ago. Both loved fishing, so he bought a big sport fishing boat and said, we'll just take people out, just make money so we could go out. Now they have three boats. During the summertime, it's seven days a week. Fish on, fish on, fish on. <laughs> there he is, there he is. Man, it's the best job you can have. Not just a job, but a lifestyle. You get to come out here every day in flip flops and shorts. It's peaceful. My phone ain't ringing. Totally away from all the social media. I love it. Though it was a short trip out, it was definitely a success. You see how everybody was fishing over there earlier? This is what we call pot liquors. They all come over here because we're catching fish. As for that reporter, well, let's just say he'll be sure to come prepared next time. Yeah, yeah, that that's definitely the key thing. This is this is basically where I truly, honestly spent most of my story trying to shoot that deep sea fishing. So the big tip, if you are at all concerned about any possible sea sickness, Dramamine about two hours before you get here. I've been told by the pros at Wave Dancer that that pretty much works every single time. So we did actually, though, catch some fish, or rather, Taylor caught some fish, and I got to reap the benefits, though. And guys, uh, you get to reap it as well too. So I've got a little taste for you of the king mackerel or kingfish king that we. Uh, I sauteed it up nice. with some butter, a little bit of thyme, and uh, just some garlic, you know, flavor for you a little, a little bit too there. Fish. But you can like experience fish. it for that for yourself, guys. Nothing like fish at 540, nothing like fish at 547 in the morning. Uh-huh. It's fantastic. <laughs> mm, breakfast of <laughs> champions. Right? Yeah. That's right. Good work, I Chipper. I know. Thank Sorry you, you got so much. Seasick, though, but I know. Learned a lesson. I think. That happened. Another, another tip, Chip, if you get seasick. Getting in the water actually helps you. Oh, really? So, <laughs> but that's yeah. probably we didn't want him to float away out in the middle. <laughs> right? Of the ball, so. He's like, I didn't really want to jump in with that. Right? <laughs>